Hello. Um, yeah, so I thought it's time for another video. Five things not to do when you start your digital nomading journey. Yeah, I initially thought I'm going to do one of these once a week. I haven't, so... But I have no followers, so who am I excuse? Who am I apologizing to? So, yeah. Um, anyway, I thought um, since I've been doing this nomad thing for actually officially just three days because I've been visiting friends before, um, but because I've been doing it for a while, I thought I'm going to do a quick five things that you shouldn't do. And I learned those the hard way. Number one. Don't spend too little time in one place so um, because i was visiting friends and i stayed at their place and uh, one of the friends i visited has housemates so i didn't want to stay there too long so i only booked one week and when you're working one week in one place is not a lot so the first week i spent in alicante it was nice I've, I've been there before i've done most of the tourist stuff so it's not like i really had to go see more things but um yeah, if, I, if it would have been my first time, it would have been a bit, yeah, it wouldn't have been long enough. Um, and then one of my friends, she's studying in Valencia and she came to Alicante for the weekend. We booked a little nice Airbnb, which was cute, quite in the city center. And um, yeah, so that was a nice trip. We also went up to the castle, which I really recommend anyone to do in Alicante if you're ever there. Really nice views. I think it's the main thing that people do when they go to Alicante anyway. And so yeah, that was nice. And oh my god, my room looks actually quite bad. Let me clean it up very quickly. Better? Yeah, where, where, where were we? Um, yeah, not spending enough time in one place is a bad thing. Because um, you don't get to see much stuff. And also the second week so the friend that came from uh, Valencia hello Viejo. We, we both took the train back to Valencia and then I spent a whole week there and it did the same mistake but this time I didn't know Valencia I've not seen anything I didn't know what the things are that people do when they go there and I booked myself into a co-living uh, sorry co-working space and it was all right but yeah it just wasn't enough time so yeah which sucks yeah if you do not have a lot of time then yeah basically make sure you have time don't do that like me where you spend a whole week in a city and the only thing you see is the nice buildings and valencia has amazing buildings like the architecture there is great but that's pretty much all i've seen i went to the market they had good food and i managed to go to the beach at the very last day yeah so don't do it like me and spend more time in one place Number two, check the weather. When you think of Spain, you always think of the sun and how warm it is. And yeah, it was sunny, but it wasn't very warm. I didn't prepare for that. I was just traveling with my the clothes that I'm wearing now. I have like a um, denim jacket and a rain jacket. I did have a winter coat, but like a thin, short winter coat, which is enough for Spain. But it's like it, I didn't have any jumpers. I had one and... Um, yeah, it's not ideal. Make sure you pack for um, wherever you're going. Check for the weather. Make sure you have everything that you need for that type of weather so you don't have to go buy new things. Luckily, I could borrow a jumper from my friend. I almost tried to steal it from her, but yeah, I couldn't. Also, my suitcase was already too heavy, which is another story and brings me to point number three. Do pack properly. Because I made the mistake that I um, packed everything I had left at home that fit in my suitcase. So pack only what you need. Don't take something because you have space in your suitcase and you think you might need it. If you're not sure if you will need it, you probably won't need it, so don't bring it. Yeah, make sure you pack only an efficient amount of stuff you need. So I had like big large um, shampoo and all these kind of things and I just put everything in my suitcase and I assumed it would not be too heavy, but it was. It was like 24 kilos and I was flying with Ryanair, which um, only allows 20 kilo bags. And then the lady said that um, at the counter, she said, oh, you have to pay 11 euros per um, kilo overweight, which would have been 
44 pounds sorry yeah it was pounds which was the original price for actually just bringing a suitcase so yeah so i was at the airport and again chucking things out and i was chucking out everything that was heavy which included shampoo bottle and anything yeah like my jumpers because i thought i won't need them in spain yeah i didn't know yeah it wasn't it wasn't smart let's say Weigh your suitcase before you go, check your luggage, maximum kilo allowance, um, and yeah, make sure you don't end up like me being at the airport and uh, hidden behind a wall trying to chuck things out of your suitcase. Yeah. Also, I packed kind of the wrong stuff. So I had like no jumpers, but I had like ankle boots. Also, another thing you should consider is when you work um, abroad is um, to book the right co-working space. I don't want to mention exactly where I stayed um, because they it, it was a nice place but it was quite run down it was really dirty it was like there was no coffee machine I mean what co-working space does not have a coffee machine right? that's like the bare minimum like yeah um, but yeah when I asked if they have coffee the guy um, was even laughing at me yeah but maybe I'm just too what's the word pampered to um, yeah, like I'm too, maybe London is just, it, it's such a big city with all the nice co-working spaces and they have to be good because the competition is so high that if you're not having the bare minimum, you won't find clients. And I think in Valencia where um, there is uh, a no money community, but there isn't such a, a big one as in London, they get away with not being that great. I found some um, instant coffee in the kitchen and when I opened the jar, it was moldy inside. And I don't know what you have to do to get mold into an instant coffee tub, but they managed to do it. So, and nobody chucked it out either. I didn't chuck it out because it was probably someone's, but then also nobody would use it. So maybe I should have chucked it out. So anyway, um, it wasn't the cleanest space. The Wi-Fi was good. They were close to the center. Uh, it was just a quick walk to go to the market. They had a nice roof terrace. Yeah, it wasn't, I didn't feel comfortable there because it was small things like they didn't have um, different bathrooms for males and females so you're always like the toilet seat was always up it was a bit disgusting and grimy so yeah booked the right co-working space i did do my research in advance it had a five-star review on google um but yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't book it again i would probably try another place and yeah so maybe you can um ask in some forums maybe you can message someone to give you a virtual tour through the place and not just like a link online but a place where you can see what it looks like right now because yeah you never know like if it's um if it's run for like a couple of years things might be a bit run down fourth and the last one is don't work too much try and make sure that you have a few days off on the places where you go maybe the day after you arrive or like the last day before you go so you can see a few things and can um, pack your suitcase and don't do it like me where you last minute pack everything and just hope you didn't forget anything and you don't feel stressed at the airport don't spend them on at the laptop like i do right now so like today's actually my very first day off since january because um i had contracts back to back which is quite a luxury during covid times um but i think also quite common when you're working um in tech and i don't know if I think the people that are watching this know me personally, so you know, I'm a UX designer. But um, I'm also um, putting this out there for anyone who might start nomading. So yeah, I'm I'm a freelance UX designer. Yeah, so I've been booked back to back. I didn't have leave except for like two weeks in between contracts back in January. Um, I think it was January, I don't even remember. But also during the time I was looking for jobs, I was working on my portfolio. I always say that, but I never feel like it did because it always looks like it's three years old um but yeah so it didn't really feel like a holiday um so yeah try to make sure that the days off that you have make use of them so what i did today is i went for a run i came home i had a shower um the water pressure in this place was down so i kind of like had to like sit down having a shower because the water wouldn't come and i had wet hair soaked hair already and yeah, and then I had food, and now it's 3 p.m., and I've not seen much. Well, I, when I went for a run, I kind of, like, got lost and just went for a walk. 
So it's not like I've not seen anything, but it's not time well spent, I think, because like walking around, you can do also during the days when you work. But I feel like I should have planned a few things, maybe booked myself to a surf class or went to a museum or things like that. I'm going to spend today on my laptop to do some more research, maybe get a bit of a routine in looking for a gym nearby because I'm going to spend a month here. And um, yeah, did I mention I'm in Gran Canaria? I'm in Gran Canaria, which is really nice. Yeah, so don't work too much and make sure you actually enjoy the place you're going to. Um, I mean, I'm going to be here more than four weeks, which is way longer than I uh, was in Alicante in, in Valencia. So hopefully I will have more time, more weekends to do things. Yeah, um, if, you, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to give me a follow. Um, I'm trying to do more of these things, everything that I learned along my nomading journey. So who knows, maybe I'll say something useful and not just random stuff. Yeah, make sure you plan your time right, you spend, them, spend it well, and um, don't make the same mistakes that I did. And yeah, hopefully this is useful to you, and um, speak to you soon.